Clearing out the various types of cache on your Windows 11 PC will help to prevent errors, improve processing speeds, and free up disk space. To help keep your system running smoothly, this should be done on a regular basis. It's easy to do, and in the next seven segments coming up, I'll show you how to do this using step-by-step -step directions. Let's begin by opening Disk Cleanup. Go to Search in the taskbar and type Disk Cleanup. Select it. In the Drive Selection window, select the drive where you have Windows 11 installed. For most of you, that'll be the C drive. Once selected, click OK. You'll now see various types of cache and other files. Click to check all of the boxes to remove all cache files listed. After doing that, here at the bottom, click OK. It will then ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? To confirm, select Delete Files. Once done, those you selected in Disk Cleanup will be cleared from your PC. To resolve security issues like DNS spoofing, or if you're having internet connection issues, flushing the DNS will clear out all DNS records and IP addresses from your cache. To clear the DNS cache, right-click the Start menu and select Windows Terminal. Type the following into the terminal. The command is IP, config, add a space, slash, flush DNS. Then press enter on your keyboard. If you've done this correctly and the cache has been cleared, you'll get the message, successfully flash the DNS resolver cache. If you're getting an error for the Microsoft Store that the cache may be damaged, or you're having issues where the store is not loading properly, you can clear the Microsoft Store cache to see if that fixes your problem. In the taskbar, right-click the Start menu and select Run. Type in the box wsreset.exe and then press Enter. You'll see a blank window appear. Wait for it to close automatically. This might take a while. When it does, the cache for the Microsoft Store has been cleared. Windows will store your location history as a cache file for a period of 24 hours. In this time, it can sometimes get corrupted, thinking you're in a different location. To manually remove the location cache, right-click the Start menu and select Settings. In the left sidebar, select Privacy and Security. Scroll down to the Apps Permissions section and click on Location. Near the bottom of this page, you'll find Location History. Click on Clear to remove the location cache. When navigating your files and folders, if you notice that they're not loading or loading very slowly, removing the File Explorer history will clear out the cache, creating a new one that will fix the problem. With the File Explorer window open, to the right of View, click the See More icon and select Options. Make sure that the General tab is selected. In the Privacy section, where it says Clear File Explorer History, click on Clear to remove the cache from your File Explorer. Each day as you visit websites in your favorite browser, it's storing cached data that can get corrupted. If you notice browsing the net is quite a bit slower or web pages are not loading correctly, you should clear out the cache from your browser. I'll quickly show you the steps to do this for the three most used browsers on Windows 11. In Google Chrome, in the upper right, click the three-dot menu icon, hover down to More Tools, and click on Clear Browsing Data. In the window that pops up in the Basic tab, Check the box next to Cached Images and Files. If you want to keep your browsing history and cookies and other site data, uncheck those boxes. Choose a time range from last hour to all time. For this one, I'll choose all time. After making your selections, click on Clear Data. If you're using Microsoft Edge built into Windows 11, click the three-dot menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, select Privacy, Search, and Services. In the section, Clear Browsing Data, click on Choose What to Clear. Check the box next to Cached Images and Files and anything else you want to clear out. Select a time range, then click Clear Now. And for the Firefox browser, click the menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, select Privacy and Security. Scroll down to History. Click on Clear History. Check those that you want to clear, including cache, and uncheck those that you don't want to clear. 
Select the time range. This one is from last hour to today and everything. And when you're ready, click OK. For the web browsers not mentioned, to clear the browser cache, the steps are very similar. If you'd like to clear your PC's cache automatically, you can use Storage Sense built into Windows 11. To set it up, right click the Start menu and select Settings. In System, go to Storage. Then in Storage Management, toggle the slider next to Storage Sense to turn it on. Now click into Storage Sense. Check the box next to Keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. You can also configure a cleanup schedule to run Storage Sense. Your choices are from every day up to every month or when you're running low on free disk space. If you want to run it now, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Run Storage Sense Now. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. In our Windows 11 series, let us know in the comments the types of videos you'd like to watch. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell for the latest on Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.